In this video, I want to show you how to use a different feature of the software to mark position called marks. Uh, marks live in this part of the software, in the stage, in this subsection. Um, and so the reason I want to show you these uh, is because they can be very useful if you just want to mark positions to return to them later, but not necessarily commit to imaging them through um, the tiles submenu. Um, so you can do this here. Obviously, you can mark positions and then turn off the imaging. But this is an alternative way of doing it. And I just want to show you because it might be useful for your workflow. So there, there's two uh, ways of doing this. One is if you've already taken an image. So for example, I took uh, a 20x wide field map of a subregion. Uh, you can look around here and say, um, you know, I, I want to just mark a few positions that I want to return to later. Uh, I don't want to commit to imaging them. I just want to leave a mark so that I, that I know uh, what positions were potentially of interest and uh, just have the option to come to, back to them later. So if you click on this marks option, you can just click on, you know, various cells of interest. And as you see, they're being put in this list that you can return to uh, later. So if you you want, you can display um, where the marks are in the image or not. You can turn this off if you prefer. Um, so that's one way of adding marks. The other way of adding marks is if you're in the navigation and tiles, maybe you know you were interested in this one. If you go there, once you go there, you can click on this plus sign and it'll add a mark wherever you are. So then how do you use these marks? So let's say you know I go back here uh, and I just want to go I'm looking around, it's like, oh, this is a very interesting cell. It has the characteristics that I want. So you can click on that and either say navigate to mark or double click on it and the stage will go there. And so then if I try to image it, I should be in that position. Let's see here. And the same is true of all the other marks. And you can also hit go next. So you can just leave some waypoints that you can then return to and then decide whether you want to image those um, in other ways. So this can be really useful um, if you don't want to go through the um, uh, tiles uh, uh, interface here, if you just want to have marks that you can go back and forth to. Um, if you're done with the marks, uh, there's no way that I know of of selecting multiple ones and deleting them. So you have to just select the first one and then just click the trash to, to get rid of them. Anyway, I think that um, you know for some of you, marks may be very useful. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use them in your workflows.